Because I never would have make it without ya I never would have make it without ya She must tell, tell, tell the CMR guy that she has got herself And the boy must call police banana. I never would have make it without ya Hallelujah Somebody say People throw me out in a cold In a winter I have a stay at people place, people show me all kind of bad face, people do me all kind of things. Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to another update. And in this one, we have Rygin King with his new official single, Made It. It's like the DJ I give thanks people for life, you know, because Rygin King could have easily lost his three points. So basically, the DJ I give thanks in this new single. And we're also gonna, you know, show you a clip with popcorn x k isla speaking about the whole cmr and chrissy situation you know it is alleged that it's cmr's ex basically k isla exposing um cmr and shani basically k isla say the girl no want work she just want to catch a people place and k isla sure say so look how she used to work and stuff like that and we also have the female in another clip people explaining why she wrecked the marriage basically you know with Chrissy and CMR it's like she never did get any fatherly love or stuff like that people so it's like she have a resentment for her father so we're gonna let you listen to all that guys but before we get into it please remember to leave a like on this video you know subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed as yet and leave your thoughts down in the comment section we need them times like it's a lot Too much killing a quad So viewers and subscribers, Rygin King basically got church setting in this one You know, it's like him must say, yo, man, make the ghetto youth Them know, say, yeah, them have to believe in a God Because we all know that the artist could have easily not be here today Because remember, you know, him pick up couple rounds well And him they here if he tell a tale And it's like the artist are show a different side of him so the artist has said we need in times like this oh lord too much people are lose them three points you know as you step out of the road you never can tell what might happen people so the artist really grateful for life people that he's still here still carrying on he might not can walk people but him still i give thanks for him life is basically a second chance for the artist if he survive an attack like that you know him could have easy well not be here so the artist got church setting and he might give thanks Yo, my when my strong, you deserve every glory of my life. entitled made it by Rygin king people you can go and check it out on youtube you know let me know what are your thoughts about this in the comment section you know a different type of vibe a different type of settings by the artist so go and check it out so in this clip guys we have k isla you know popcorn's ex basically exposing cmr and shani you know basically she has said the girl no want work she just want to catch from yard to yard and she attack a whole lot of things people so we are gonna just make a listen to this live tell me what you think about it leave your thoughts and like the video and you're gonna talk about us and my worst than you and medicine you so all oh, you call me a ball to me and i tell me say you this or you that. She there want woman house. Guys, to all the girls, salt and kill it. She there want woman house. She call me today. And next thing me know, she go tell me, say, the lady, make she leave her out because she, police, she must tell, tell, tell the CMR guy, say, she go herself. And the boy must call police, banner And make police come out the yard. And the lady must tell her, say, leave because she don't want a police her yard. She have to leave. The next thing you know, she did somewhere else. The next thing you know, she did somewhere else. Wally British, according to she, Wally British put her up somewhere, put her somewhere for steer, and my ear say, she a cuss Wally British too. We are cuss the people in front of color, the people in name. She target all of the famous people them for just get clout off of them and for just get hype off of them. That is her thing. That is her thing, brother. I fear I think that. She have her family them but based off of me understand is that she don't want to work. She don't want to work. She just want to sit on a yard and just eat, sleep, go up on social media and live life. She don't want to work. So her people them tell her for go on. As a matter of fact, I don't even tell them to tell her for go on. She just don't want to go home based off what I hear. You understand what I say? 
Everybody will help you try to turn against them. Who is this JB person? I don't know who is this JB person. Who name JB? I who name so? Yes, I think I see him. Um, see the guy. She see a Wally British Yard. The same guy makes you see a Wally British Yard. And Daddy, the same guy. You understand what I say? You can't write it in your head and I move. So, guys, let's be real. This girl needs help. This is why I'm saying that. I pity her. Because for she a move around and I go on. So, me have to pity her. Me have to really pity her. Me have to pity her. You don't want to work. You don't want to do nothing at all. You just want to sit down and come on the internet and cry and tell people see you're depressed and feel like, what you think? What you think I got to do something for you? Look how me used to depressed and how me have to get up and work, guys. Me have to get up and work for me want. I couldn't depend upon nobody at all, guys. Me never, my, my mother never even want to put in a paperwork for me go America, much less. I may have to stay at Jamaica and work and you the America have green card and you are talking about how people up there you don't want to work just tell the blood clot people them say you're lazy, you're workless because no matter how people encourage you and try to go to them with you help you, it's not enough when you see Miss R. Fabulous try to help the girl and you see how she class Miss Fabulous, you know say the girl a problem you know, see, you see, anybody who is quick for bring down people who help them are wicked people. Them, remember, me tell you, see, as much as things bad, guys, I would never bring down certain people who bring me up in their life. Never. What me say, never. All of them diss me and class me like a dog. Me leave them to time. You would never ever see me come online and talk about certain people. And enough people me do business with help with certain things to bring me down for the same. At the same time, and I would never talk about them. Never. I leave them to time, make them stay with them there. Them keep my money, them do me answer other things. I leave them alone. Make them stay with them there, God, and time and patient, brother. A woman help you put in our house, get so much to stay. And you come, and you talk about the woman squash. The woman never know blood clots squash to all your wicked and lie and bad. You talk about all the woman squash. And how the, the woman a, a six bicycle. The woman the whole of six man them and the woman this and the woman that and the woman this is very problematic and he's a troublemaker he's a troublemaker you didn't know you had went you go fuck the man and you didn't plan for already come and talk about it because you know say you're gonna get look of publicity and look of press and people are gonna serve for you and probably send you them money and them so they will come and tell them see you homeless and this and that you're gonna look blood clot work go and look work the man not stalk you. It's not a case where the man has stalk you and you need to talk about it. You just did a fuck the married man and you just want to a fight now. Me and your situation is not the same. You can't tell nobody the same that you can. I never you talk about no other entertainer. We're blood clot. we me fuck. Never. Never. Not so in this other clip now guys we have the female you know. The alleged side chick for CMR. Basically she exposed why you know she really do what she do and you know the challenges she have been facing while she is in foreign and stuff like that and basically she never really have a good relationship with her father and stuff like that so i will make you listen to this piece of clip to guys and you leave your thoughts about it remember you bring me here in america i met me homeless right remember me not here fryer for the whole the whole of 2019 after i get back my green card remember i didn't hear from you you'd never care if i did you never care if me alive or me dead right so why all of a sudden me make a only fans you want to have a say in my life and you do nothing for me my father left me a jamaica with my mother from me after five years old I'm gonna see back that man till me at 15 and it hurt my heart for no say me think about him every day because I always remember this one memory when me and him have the last time I see him the last time I see him, him come for me and carry me go to KFC him buy me juice and chicken and corn and that that day just stuck in my head like um 
I never expect him to be like that. I like, expect him to be different. Like, you know, you know, see your daughter for years and she has 15 now. You know, like, I never expect him to be like that. I think him to know better. Like, oh, you have to put a man over your daughter. Like, I would never have a daughter and choose a man over my daughter. Never, ever, 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 ever. I will never do it. And you know, the sad thing about it is when him tell me, see, I figure look man because me a big man now and him can't help me no more. This man, this man not call me non tall for my 21st birthday. I call him one week before my 21st birthday. I always try to reach out to him, but he never put in no effort to help me. I always call him and ask him for help, and he never, ever, ever want to help me. He never want to help me. This man never want to help me. So, I said to myself when I got sick, I'm going to start an OnlyFans. A friend of mine told me about OnlyFans and I started or whatever. And it was going pretty well for me and everything. Um, and then I eventually met this guy and um, he, he didn't want me to do it and I stopped doing it. He reached out to my father too also. He reached out to him and him tell him a bag of crap. Him tell him how much he love me. Me I'm daughter. I'm a bad and me this and me that. Why you keep telling people all these bad things about me when you don't know me? You left me a Jamaica with my mother when me a five. Me not see you back till me a fifteen. And a pure disaster. As, as, as you come back in my life, a pure disaster. The first time I come to America, me never expected to be like this. It traumatized me. You ruined my childhood. I can say you ruined my childhood. You literally ruined my childhood. It better didn't make me stay at Jamaica. It better didn't make me stay at Jamaica. You need to take me here if you know what say you don't treat me. You need to take me here if you know say I say that they treat me. This is unfair. Very much unfair. And me never ask for this and me never sign up for this. You brought me into this. And you go ahead and you turn your back on me. And then when I try to search and search and search far away out, there you are, pop up out of nowhere, like you did nothing for me. You did nothing for me but make my life a living hell. My mother used to tell me about you. But me get this for myself in real life. Say you is nothing but a little putty. Yeah. And I hope you see that video here and I hope you watch it. And watch it and look for me and see how your daughter get big. Hmm? You go see how your daughter get big and you're not in your daughter life and you will never be a part of my life. I forgive you. I don't have you up. But I don't go ever forget what you do to me. I don't go ever forget how you carry me around make me suffer. People throw me out in a cool, in a winter. I have to stay at place people show me all kind of bad face, people do me all kind of things. And I have to put up with it because I can't do better. And I, you bring me here, you're responsible for me. Do you know how I feel? Do you know how I feel to know that I have a father? 